Honey Whiskey is very popular during these cold winter months. So we got three of the most popular ones that we can find in an original cocktail called Winter's Here. So Riley, what spirits are we trying today? In the cocktail, it calls for Honey Whiskey. It does. So we are trying the three biggest mass market honey whiskeys I'm aware of. Sure. So we've got Wild Turkey American Honey, we've got Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey, and then we've got Jim Beam Honey. And which ones are you familiar with? Jim Beam. <laughs> Just Jim Beam. Okay. Just Jim Beam. I am familiar with Jim Beam also. It's one of the spirits I had to use back in 2013. First year I won my Mixology Award, so I've been very familiar with it. I like it. I like the intense honey that it gives. It's very forward. Yes. I've had the Jack Daniels honey, and if memory serves me correctly, it's very light honey compared to the Jim Beam. So, so it's more whiskey than honey? Yes. And I get why both Serve are popular. Purpose. Right. I don't think I've ever had the wild turkey one, so. As far as bottle goes, yeah. this wild turkey one is very pretty. I do like it. It's very like non-wild turkey bottle this. Yeah, it's got, it's I mean it's clean. got the it's got the turkey on the back. Right. But like it's very like I like the the mm -hmm. way that it's shaped. It's just very elegant for the cheapest whiskey on this table, I think, yes. wasn't it? I, yeah. Every <laughs> bottle on here is like twenty-four dollars or, or cheaper. lower. You're not gonna spend an arm or leg. We are gonna try them lowest A B V and yep. higher. So let's go ahead and uh, revisit Jim Beam. This one we have opened before, so the uh, <laughs> cap is a little stuck because there is a lot of sugar, sugar. content yep. in these flavored whiskeys. Mm -hmm. And put the Jim Beam in Pretty Boy Floyd there for you. Go. And what is the ABV of this one? It is 32.5% okay. alcohol by volume. So, you know, all the sugar, so obviously it's going to lower the ABV yep. quite a bit than any other normal whiskey, but yep. you know. It is a honey liqueur. Right. Infused with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. So, right. cheers. Oh my God. Did you just <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> do you have a hole? I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> All right, so let's go and give these a try. It smells like honey. Oh it does God. smell like processed honey and not like yeah. raw honey. Yeah. So, I mean, there's really not much else to say. I don't really get much honey off the nose of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's sweet. It's, it's very funny. sweet. I don't get a lot of whiskey. I mean, there is some at the back end, I think, with a little bit of burn. I don't think this tastes like honey at all. You don't think so? No, I think it tastes like vanilla and caramel flavored sugar. I see, yeah, I get but that. But that's wild because in a cocktail, I do know it does taste like honey. It's right. just the ingredients you add to it pull it out more. Sure. All right, let's go and do the Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Honey Liqueur Blend with Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey at 35%. So it hops up the one, 2.5%. 2 2 so again, still low. But again, from what I remember, this is gonna be less sugary than that. But again, I could be wrong. It's been like years. See, now this one does smell more like what I would expect honey whiskey to smell like. Yeah, it's kind of more, it's more balanced in the smell of yes. like you smell the whiskey and you can kind of smell the sweetness of the honey. Yep. And it's got the honey notes on mm -hmm. the aroma in, in the nose. Sure. Definitely less sweet, way yeah. less sweet. Tastes like honey. Tastes like honey. Tastes like artificial honey. Artificial honey, yep. And there's definitely more whiskey forwardness in this one than the Jim Beam, I think. Just, yeah. The Jim Beam is so overly sweet. I feel like the honey works well with the whiskey in this one, whereas the Jim Beam one is just kind of like, hey, we put honey in what we already have. Right. Which I'm sure is what they all did, but this right. one seems to meld better. Right. All right. Now we got the American honey, exceptionally smooth liquor, liqueur blended with pure honey and bourbon whiskey at 35.5. Okay. So they said this one's actually, actually uses honey. Smooth liqueur blended with pure honey and bourbon. More is the it's, most whiskey forward out of all of them. And it's citrusy. Yeah. It does like kind of orange. a weird citrus. Yeah. Orange notes and lemon. I have a feeling this would be good in a gold rush. Yeah. Kind of like it. Yeah. Ooh. This this one tastes like the most like what actually honey tastes like. Yeah, what I would expect from like a hot toddy. It does still have the, like some artificial flavoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the sharpness mm -hmm. of natural flavorings. Yeah, the, especially the very not first. Natural flavorings are especially like the very first sip. Right. It's just kind of like odd. 
but then you get the sweetness and then you kind of get a little whiskey behind it. So Yes, it gives, this one gives way to more, like they did a better job formulating the honey flavor. Mm -hmm. Or all okay, they're all justified. You're just looking for a honey whiskey to get you through whatever weekend you're going through. Right. The best one I've ever had is from one of the local bourbon companies, that, the distillers that we did, the Mississippi River Distillery. Their bourbon honey Their tastes honey, like yeah. raw honey and it is amazing. Like they just put the... the yeah, they just seeped it right in. It is. It would be very expensive to infuse raw honey oh, into whiskey. Oh, for sure. So I can understand why these are more artificial weaning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course. But I think my favorite just by, itself. by itself is probably the wild turkey. I'd probably say wild turkey too. So, But what we're going to do next is we're going to try this in a cocktail that I created a couple years ago called Winters Here. Obviously, Game of Thrones inspired. We were doing a Game of Thrones trivia. I wanted to do like a mead inspired cocktail because obviously mead is something they probably would have drank a lot of back then. Honey is very forward in mead. So that is the main component in mead. I wanted to use other flavors, including cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove winter flavors. So let's show you how to make a Winters Here. So how easy is it to make this cocktail? Uh, well, the part that I did was extremely easy, <laughs> uh, but you did the infusion Infusion, part. but that's even still just as easy. Just pop a few things in some palm juice, let it sit for 24 hours, actually 48 hours, and you're good to go. So a little prep time, but the cocktail itself, very easy to make. Yes, and the uh, longer you leave the spices in, the spicier the it gets. The spicier it'll get. So if you like it super wintry, Leave them in for, uh, I'd say, five days. When but, we make it at home, that's what I have. <laughs> right. The cocktail won't fill up a full pint glass. It just really depends on the ice you use. It will leave maybe a quarter inch, half inch. Just really depends on how long you shake it for. But this is normal. No big deal. So I'm going to blind taste test these and see if I can pick out the drink I made with it and try the other one. So yes. let's just start with this guy. All right. I get to be the mastermind today. With this drink, it's tart and sweet at the same time. Pomegranate is tart. The Jim, well, the Jim Beam honey, I use that because it was so sweet. It balances out the tartness. Yep. This one is very tart. Very tart. In my opinion. I think it is tart. Yeah. Not, okay, not like extremely tart like a Jolly Rancher, but it's tarter than I know how this drink should taste. Okay. So I'm already, my already guess is this is not the Jim Beam honey. So far, I'm gonna try all of them and reevaluate. <laughs> I'm not locking in any answers right now. <laughs> I'm giving headspace. So why don't you explain what the cocktail tastes like? So the cocktail tastes exactly like all the ingredients inside of it. It tastes like pomegranate. You taste a little bit of the orange, uh, the cinnamon and the clove, and the sweetness from the honey. So I mean, yep. it is literally all those flavors packed in together. Just in, basically it's just a juice at the end of the day. The second one is less tart than the first one. Yep. You can taste more orange. And I think in the second one, mm -hmm. The honey is subtle in there. And do taste more whiskey in that one than the first one. This one is very tart. Um, it is, the spices are kind of downplayed. This one is mm -hmm. more sweet, round. I still think the spices are downplayed a little bit. Uh, the third one I think is the sweetest of the three. Yep, and tastes like, it I feel like that one tastes the most like honey. Yeah. On the front. Yeah, there's definitely a honeyer taste to it. Yep. Not, not a lot of whiskey. No. Nope. Yeah, there, I mean, this cocktail is so kind of just straightforward. Yep, it's very light as far as the alcohol goes, so you're mm -hmm. not going to get a lot of the spirit notes, but whatever right. flavorings are in it, like obviously the honey pulls through and that. What do you think? You think you can pick them out? I'm going to doubt myself like I always do. One hundred percent. This is not okay. It is just way too tart for it not to be that. I try this all the time when I make the cocktails. At all. I do really like that one though. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna go for it. That one. Are you sure? Yep, that's my guess. I'm locking it in. You're locking it in. Yep. You're really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you want to know how I remembered what straws I put in it? Why? This one has the lightest label, so it's the lightest oh, straw. Okay. Jim Beam is the only one that has red on it. And then mm. this one 
Honey is Bronson. So you were 0 for 3, my love. I am horrible. I'm, I'm 1 for 6. Oh. Because I got the one right on the other flower one. <laughs> I'm 1 for <laughs> 6. Saint Germain. So like when you, after we talked about it, like this one did have that citrus note, which would make sense why it's more tart. That's true. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, And I feel like this one, the Tennessee whiskey one, tasted more like honey. Yeah. I get that now. Uh, having sat on the other side of the bar that you work at and having drank <laughs> several of these, this one I knew immediately was the Jim Beam one. Right. You drink this way more than I yeah. do. I, Cause all I'm doing is a, a, a little straw taste test. And mm -hmm. like, okay, it tastes, it tastes exactly like how it should mm -hmm. move on. But now that I've tried all three side by side, I think I might like the Jack Daniels one better. I might. The Jim Beam's so good. Yeah. The artificial sugar notes really do do something different. Now doing yeah. a side by side, because I've never right. done a side by side. I had just been familiar with Jim Beam Honey from that first competition, and then used it a couple different times. I just like, oh, I know what right. this does we, to a cocktail, yep. and let's just use it. Yep. It's so great. Um, mm -hmm. And the, like all of the ones that we do, the margins are pretty small. Definitely this American Honey one, the wild would, turkey. You that, would think something's missing. Right. It just tastes like juice, and you're like, oh, there's no alcohol in here. Right. Well, they all taste like the juice. They do all taste like juice, but at least these two, you know there's honey in these two. Yeah. So if you want to see me guess more incorrectly, make sure you subscribe to see more content of me guessing incorrectly and her crushing it. Because <laughs> that's all we do here is I lose and you win. <laughs> so make sure you like the video. Comment below if you'd like to see Carl try more and see if he can pull out the flavors or if you let us know if you want me to continue to prove my superiority. <laughs> We already know the answer to that. <laughs> like the video if you enjoy seeing me fail immensely. And I know everyone does, because I am the pro. <laughs> Check out our last video, maybe the previous one, but our home bar tour. If you're curious what our home bar looks like. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.